politics for the end of the show. And it is weird. We're all so interested in the American presidential elections because uh, it's, it's a good year. It's it a great year. Of course, there's still some doubt given the proclivities of the Bush administration to shred different parts of the Constitution as they go along. There's still some doubt whether we'll get this election, but if we... Well, well, will, they say know, well, well, they'll say it's a big crisis, we got to Yeah, you know, well, John, John McCain suspended his, his convention, he suspended his debate, he suspended his campaign. So, you know, oh, God, this financial crisis, we'll have to suspend the election. We'll have it, you know, one of these days. But, but now, the Sarah Palin effect, yes. which was great, and now she does seem to be an albatross in glasses. Well, you know, <laughs> Sarah Palin is a, is a kind of familiar act to me, because one of the things I collect is the chat segments of beauty pageants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, education is the future for our country because without education, our young people will not be equipped to meet the challenges of the future. <laughs> that's really Sarah Palin. That's the way she talks. <laughs> that's where she learned to do that kind of political speech, and that's what she's bringing to the table. And here is Sarah Palin, the Vice President of Hope. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it is scary. And of course, she is just a heartbeat away from the presidential hopeful John McCain. <laughs> Heart attack or massive shit? You decide. <laughs> if it doesn't get a sudden shock like being named president. <laughs> John McCain, typical, uh, he's a typical cynical politician, wheeling out his kids on the campaign trail. <laughs> uh, now, Sarah Palin is currently the governor of Alaska. Here's a typical Alaskan scene. Oh. And here it is, a few minutes after Sarah Palin walked past. <laughs> It's not dead. It's dead. It's really dead. <laughs> of course, you know a lot about it because you have uh, brought out a CD. Oh, uh, here we go. Yes, but do, do, do. Which uh, is a, a political kind of satire of songs. Yes. Funny songs. Yes. Uh, uh, which is a very good title, very good cover. Uh, songs of the Bushmen. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, I thought of the title first, and then the cover just kind of sort of came right afterwards. Because you, you got in a bit of trouble for this cover. Yes, you? I did. Uh, there's a, a large billboard company. They own billboards in this country as well as in the States, and they would not run them. And I'm thinking, the guy is at 23% approval rating. These must be the last people in the country who think it's not okay to make fun of George W. Bush. Yeah, he's, 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 he's now lower than Nixon, isn't he? Oh, he's way lower. He's, he's lower than Nixon? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's lower than Attila the Hun. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just not, not even in the, in the ballpark. God, it's lower uh, than Nixon. I didn't know. I knew his dad was really low, wasn't he? It was worse. Yes, but not, not as bad. So this is a bunch of... <laughs> Boy done good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach him. Uh, so th these are all songs about different members of the administration from Colin Powell, uh, Karl Rove, Dick Cheney. There's a song for each of them. I, I refer to it as a musical impeachment because it's the only kind they're going to get, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel like I'm chairing question yeah, time I know. Now. That, was a, that was a very question time applause as well. Yeah. Kind of mixed views there from our yeah, audience. Exactly. <laughs> but listen, stand up, stand up, stand up. Uh, it is our...